everyone, it's Dana here with Love Sola Flowers. Um, we are gonna be making something kind of fun and interesting today. Um, sorry you've missed me for a couple weeks now. We've been having crazy weird storms in New Jersey and my power has been on and off and it's been a little crazy. So um, finally, I think we've got good weather enough to make it through tonight, um, but I thought I'd jump on and do a tutorial for you all. So I will wait for just a little bit till uh, everyone gets their notifications and gets on if they want to be here live. Um, we are making an over the shoulder corsage tonight. Um, if you are needing some supplies, we are having a sale. Uh, it is up to 60% off of our regular Sola flowers. And that coupon code is SUMMER60. So you just use the code SUMMER60 and it's 60% off regular Sola flowers on our website, lovesolaflowers.com. If you are not in our community group, hi Trisha. If you're not in our community group, make sure you join that. That's the best place to ask all your questions and get some good tips and tricks. Our community group is facebook.com slash groups slash love Sola flowers. So that is where to kind of be able to ask all the nitty gritty type questions that we can help you along the way. Um, and make sure you use the search bar in that community group to look up things that maybe we've talked about in the past. So uh, you can use some keywords. Hey, Martha. Hey, everyone. Glad to see you. All right. So you guys are coming on. Again, we are having a sale right now. It's 60% off. Summer 60 is the code on lovesolaflowers.com. And I thought we'd do something a little different. And people have asked me about how to make this. So I thought it would be fun to do it. Um, it's an over the shoulder corsage. So we did the magnet pin on. Hey, we did the magnet pin on. So I thought might as well finish up our corsage series here with an over the shoulder. It's kind of cool. So I did go ahead and start it because it would take a really long time to do a live if I did it literally step by step and we don't want to keep you that long on a Friday night. So I did um, do the first steps, but I'm going to show you what I did first. So um, I use these wires. Um, they are 18 gauge to do my stemming for my bouquets. Uh, and it's very, um, you know, common to use the 18 gauge wire. Some people use the 16 gauge. Don't go uh, number wise higher than 18. So as the numbers go up, the floppier they are. So 18 gauge is usually what most people use, but you can use also 16 gauge even if you want it a little bit stronger. So it gives you some good bend without being floppy, okay? So again, this is 18 gauge wire. And what I did was I took five wires, okay? I took five of my 18 gauge wires that I usually use for stemming and I wrapped it with, you can use floral tape or the electrical tape. So I took my five stems and I wrapped it down all together just so that my five wires are stuck together to make one thick bendy piece of wire. And I used, um, again, you can use electrical tape or floral tape um, just to keep them steady. So those are all wrapped together. So that's what's gonna make your shape of your arm. And I'm gonna show you how it looks in just a minute. Then you're going to take a piece of ribbon. I think this one is like one and a little bit, one and a smidge, one and a half, maybe inches thick, depending on how really wide you want this. But this is really thick enough. And this is just white satin. Obviously, you'll match whatever color you're wanting to be like on the bottom. And what I did was I put um, a thing of glue um, right in the middle and I laid my wires down that I had um, put in there and then you just fold it over to make like a little sandwich. Okay, so we have our wires all tied together. Then we put our glue down on our ribbon and then we made a little sandwich. So you'll have something about that thick and I'll show you from the inside. After we have our little wire ribbon thing, you're gonna put it on your shoulder. Let me show you. You're gonna put it on your shoulder. And again, your wire is gonna be on it, so you're gonna bend it. And you're gonna bend it to the shape of your shoulder. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna find a video where you use the cabinet door. Um, yeah, we can, um, I will give you links on how to find it. We are on YouTube now. Um, so you can find all of our videos on YouTube if you're looking for the video with the cabinet door. But I'll help you. Um, I will give you the link when I'm done with this video. Okay, so once you shaped that, 
then you're gonna add your greens. But let me just show you how I did that. So as you can see, this is the wire that's covered with the ribbon. And of course, you're just gonna trim down the wire to be the size that you're wanting it. So let me just show you how I bent it over my shoulder. Okay, so again, how you're wanting it placed. And on the wire, you can rebend this and move it around. So um, do you see how it just stays? Cause it's nice and thick with the wire. Isn't that pretty cool? I mean, even with just greenery, it's pretty cool actually. But um, uh, what I did was I just layered it up with greenery and I started on my shoulder and everything that's in the front part of me, my greens faced down that way. And every part that goes back, the greens faced that way. Okay, so let me just quickly recap again. If you're just joining us, our sale is still going on. Uh, the code is summer60, that's 60% 60 off on lovesolaflowers.com. What I did was I took five stems of my 18 gauge wire. I used electrical tape to tape them together to make a nice thick band. Then I sandwiched the wire in between a one and a half inch ribbon. I just folded it over, made a sandwich, sealed it up. And this is what we're gonna be able to glue <clears throat> all of our greens and flowers on. And then you just bend it to the shape of your shoulder. So it's so cool. Now it doesn't obviously, I mine's, you know me guys, I like a little bit of a rocker type style. So I did use a lot of greenery, but you can make yours very elegant, very simple. You can cut them to be very short. It doesn't have to go far down in the back. Obviously you're just gonna use the style uh, that you like, okay? So I've got my greenery done again at my shoulder. Green comes forward at my shoulder, green goes backwards. Okay, so I've got my leaves and now I'm gonna add my flowers. So I actually had this really cool thing I had made before. Um, I had made a hair clip that looked like this. It uh, is rose gold. It was the flower Electra and has some fern and feathers. And I'm actually gonna use this as the bottom part of my front because I thought that would look really cool. So I'm just gonna load up my glue because I definitely wanna really get a lot of glue on here. And I'm gonna glue that right to my shoulder strap thing. And I'm starting this at the bottom because I wanted to have most of my fancy stuff kind of right here, like a pin-on corsage would be. So it's over the shoulder, but I want kind of the eye to go to where a normal corsage would be. So I'm just gonna hold this on just for a second so that I don't burn myself or drip the glue. But I added that just to the front. Let me show you. See how this is gonna give my get my attention stuff here? Because again, this is where I want people focused, kind of where it would be if I just had a pin-on corsage. So I just added that little piece there right in the front and I'm gonna just move my way to the center. So I'm gonna add, let me see if I could hold it this way. I'm gonna hold my thing this way. Can you guys see it good that way? Okay, so now I'm gonna move up and I wanna use a different color, not the rose gold. Let me use the bronze here. Okay, I'm gonna use a bronze colored flower here. Um, these flowers are metallic. I used a brand called Deco Art. Um, I got mine from Hobby Lobby and it is a metallic. They are more expensive, but um, that brand really, really shimmers. So that's why I really love that brand. Um, again, it's called Deco Art and you definitely need more paint than you need water for metallics. So I'm gonna move my way up to the center. Now again, my center is exactly on the top of my shoulder. So I'm gonna do a cute little bundle there not very easy to hold this in position for you to see. So let me see if I can prop this. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, let me prop this. I need like a doll's head or something to stick this on here. All right, it's not gonna stick. So let me just show you what I'm gonna do by doing it. All right, which colors do I want? I think I want this gold and this pearlized one. So just be careful when you're squirting glue on something so thin, because the Lord knows that I do a fair share of burning myself. So try to avoid burning yourself by, by holding it over a table as opposed to holding it over your lap. That's just something I have learned 
I have burnt my lap so many times trying to build stuff on my lap. I know a lot of you do it too. We see the burns in our in our uh, in our group in our community group. I think we all share our uh, pain stories. So I'm just gonna hold it there because I don't want to let it go. Now, what I don't want to do, which you know I do usually do for other things, is glue the flowers to each other because especially if it's not for you. And if you're sending this corsage out to someone, they may have to obviously bend it in a different shape for their shoulder. So if you're gluing your flowers together, it won't be able to be reshapen. So I wouldn't glue my flowers to each other. Okay, so this is what we got going on. I have other fillers and smaller flowers coming too. So we're not quite done yet. Okay, I'm gonna add this rose gold to the back. Actually, I think I just wanna use a small one. And then I've got some little baby flowers for the front too. So our flowers do come in different sizes. If you're new to Sola, um, our flowers start at one inch and they go up to three inch and not every single style has every single size. So when you find a style of flower on our website, lovesolaflowers.com, you're just gonna go to the drop down box and you'll be able to choose which size. So it'll give you a list of all the different sizes that you can you can use there. So let me just put one more on this side. This is the back. Again, you don't have to go crazy with the back part because, I mean, actually, if you're wearing something that like your back is pretty fancy, you may want the back part to be the part that's pretty fancy. So I guess it's what you're wearing because you might want it kind of looking cool in the back too. So, all right, let me just add my little babies to the front here and then we're gonna go and fill in with my greens. If you've watched my tutorials before, you know a lot that I use kind of my cheaper fake greens on the bottom to do my filling because they're cheaper uh, and they're easy to maneuver and easy to glue. And then I use our nice um, preserved and dried fillers that you can get from Love Sola to be the kind of fancy pop you get. Let me see, I have this pretty gold flower and I feel like I wanna use it. Yes, that is what I needed. Again, if you've never done metallic flowers, um, the brand that I used for these was called um, Deco Art. I did get mine on Hobby Lobby. You can get them on Amazon. I used more paint than I used water because you definitely need to keep it pretty thick on the paint. You need to mix it in between each flowers. And that's how I do my, let me see. I just want to use this one baby. I just feel like it needs to be in there somewhere. And uh, as I was saying before too, hey Tiffany, as I was saying before as well, we are on YouTube now because Facebook had that new weird thing. Um, we're calling it a glitch, but they're, they seem to not be fixing it. But um, they have this thing where the titles, even though I title my tutorials, they don't show up in the video section. So it's hard to find what you're looking for. And we know it's frustrating. So we did start a Love Soul Flowers uh, YouTube channel and it has all of our videos in there so if you um, are needing to search YouTube might be the easier way um, to just go follow our channel and then if you're following the YouTube channel Love Solo Flowers on YouTube then every time we add a new video you'll be able to see it right in one spot and uh, I think it's an easier way to find things right now since they have not fixed the problem yet of doing it I know it's so annoying. I don't really understand why they needed to do that. So if you've been having trouble finding videos, we apologize. It's not our fault. We do label our videos. They do. Oh, there you go. Sultan just put up the link. So there's our YouTube channel uh, link. So all these videos will be there. Okay. So let me show you. Look how cute this is. I feel like <laughs> I would wear it out. I mean, I wouldn't really, but I feel like I would want to wear it out. <laughs> but but it's nice. Um, 
for things like Sweet 16s and stuff, like, you know, a lot of people are doing for the quinceañeras and the Sweet 16s and all that stuff, bouquets. But, like, you know, what little girl really wants to hold a bouquet? So, basically, you get the picture and then it's over. So, it could be something that would be, like, you know, a way to, for them to wear their flowers. I mean, they can take it off if they're dancing and stuff. But at least to get some pictures and everything without having to hold something in their hands. Um, cute for prom, especially if you have a simple dress or even a strapless dress. How fun would that be? And it just floats. Again, I have my wire nice and tight so it's not moving. If you have straps or um, a sleeve or something like that you can actually put you know how we did the magnet corsage you can actually attach magnets on either side here and then you snap them on the inside of your dress so that way it's magneted too <laughs> do you like how i said that because magneted magneted too okay <laughs> so anyway there we go um, now I'm just going to add my fillers. So I've got my flowers. As you can see, it's hard to see the back, but you can squeeze the wire nice and tight to fit um, over. You can actually angle it if you want it to come over across. Um, but there's a lot of things to do with these now. Um, these days, flower accessories are so popular, like hair pieces and pins and all this other kind of stuff. People are ordering it for birthday parties and um, even like um, wedding showers. How pretty would this be for a wedding shower or a pregnant mama for a baby shower? So floral accessories are huge right now. So if you're in the business, solo business, start to learn these accessories because yes, everyone wants to sell a wedding because you know, weddings, you make a ton of money, blah, blah, blah. But really you can make a ton of accessories and do a really good business just on accessories for events. Okay. Let's add our greens. So I've got leather leaf fern here. And I'm going to glue this between my flowers. Right, Shelly? I mean, who want, who doesn't want to be like special at these kind of events? I think it's like a big deal to like honor people at events these days with flowers. And what better way than this cool corsage that they don't have to worry about hanging on their wrist. And honestly, because you use the satin ribbon, it's not uncomfortable on the shoulder. I could totally wear that all day and it not bother me. So I'm just adding in my leather leaf fern in between my flowers here. But I mean, it's comfortable because the satin is against like your body. So Cynthia, what I did was I took their, the wire stems that you use to stem your flowers. What I did was I um, used floral tape to tape about five stems together so that it's nice and firm and I can bend it without it being floppy. And then I put like a, sa I made a sandwich between a satin ribbon and the 18 gauged wires. Thank you, Stacy. Obviously when I'm done with the video, I will share this and then it will get added eventually to YouTube. So you'll be able to find it there as well. So I did want to stick very ferny. I just kind of love ferns these days. We do have fern on our website. Um, we did have a faux one. I'm not sure if we're currently in stock with the faux ferns, but we do have leather leaf fern as well. Um, I don't know, again, what's in and what's out. We've been having, you know, troubles like everyone with getting in things. So be patient with us if you see something that's out of stock. But when you do see something come in stock that you do love, definitely buy yourself a good stock of it so you don't run out because it's not going to be so easy to get things just with times right now being crazy with shipping and hi Crystal. Crystal, I'm making this cool thing. I totally think you could wear something like this. So I'm making an over the shoulder corsage. Look how cool that is. Actually, it looks cool with this color too. So coral is like my favorite color of all time and I love these metallics with it. So as you can see, it can sit there. You can even bend it up high, you know, going across or straight over. Again, you're just gonna bend your wire to be um, snug for you. Now I've got some green caspia and I am gonna add a few of those pieces to our things. Just gonna tuck it in between my flowers. Right? I feel like I would want to wear this. I feel like it did. You know I feel? It's like a beauty pageant sash. That's what I feel like. And maybe everybody wants to feel like they're in a beauty pageant all the time, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. 
you could do, you know, I don't know. I like this, like, I, I would totally wear this over, like, I mean, I don't wear leather jackets. I always want to, but I don't know. I feel like too old to wear them, but I would love to wear a leather jacket and this over it. I don't know. It's 40 too old to wear a leather jacket with a floral piece over the shoulder. My kids might say yes, <laughs> but I don't know. But how cute would that be? Like, I would, to yes, I would totally be like that. Tiffany, I'm not exactly sure. Um, we do have the community group. Um, it's facebook.com slash groups slash love solo flowers. And um, if you are looking for tutorials or things like that, um, you can always ask in the group if people know of it. If you don't want to search um, our YouTube channel, um, it has a list of all of the free tutorials we do here on Love Sola. All right, I'm making a mess. All right, I'm going to put in just a few more pieces of Caspia. I'm not too old, Stacy, to wear a leather jacket. So that's what I would love to do is like wear this leather jacket with this floral piece. I mean, I don't know where I'm going. I mean, where do I, I'm not really going anywhere. <laughs> like to a kid's play date. I mean, is that what I'm going to wear this to? <laughs> but could you imagine like showing up with like this leather jacket and this huge like floral corsage on your shoulder to like your kid's play date or like to their kindergarten graduation or something. <laughs> Just make me laugh. That would make me laugh. Okay, as you can see, we're growing here. So that was the Caspia and the Fern. Now, I have this. I was thinking this could be cute, right? I mean, not. I'm going to take the pine cones off. But this is um, our cypress bush. It's a faux one, but I thought this could look good with fern. So I'm going to pop a few heads off of this. Again, I'm not going to use the little pine cone that comes on it. But I love the wispiness of this. <laughs> Stacy. So you know what's really funny? One of the housewives of New Jersey has the same last name as my grandmother did. So I'm wondering, I mean, they were from Italy, so maybe I'm related to one. I mean, they do kind of look like me, so. Okay, so got the cypress. I'm just gonna rip just the tips off of it. I love the cypress look with kind of this ferny style. And I'm just gonna put this, I'm not gonna put this on the back part. I think the back part's pretty full. But again, it depends on, um, you know, what style outfit you're wearing. Like if you wanna draw the attention to the back and not the front, you could even have it almost like a solid green front and all just going, you know, towards the back if the back is what you're wanting to really showcase. I love a good like back on an outfit. Okay. So let me show you again, I've got all these webs. Again, if you're just joining us, um, glue webs. We actually just had a question of this in our community group, how to get rid of glue webs. You can use a heat gun or you can use a hair dryer on the hottest setting. And if you just blow dry it, it should dissolve all of them. Sometimes you have to get pretty close to it with a hair dryer. Um, so a heat gun, sometimes it's easier. Anyway, let me just deweb this just a little bit before I put it back on. So what, again, when, what we did real fast, we did five stems taped together with electrical tape, or you could use floral tape. I made a nice thick metal rod with it, and I sandwiched it in between satin ribbon, and then I shaped it on my body, obviously clipped it to where I wanted it to end, shaped it on my body. Then I did my faux greens over it, added my flowers, and then put in my fun fillers at the end. So let me just show you. Let me get rid of this webs before I put it on. All right, ready? Okay. And that's it. It really doesn't move very much because again, the metal's pretty strong. I'm trying to get my hair out of this so you can see it. Um, it's pretty strong, the metal. But uh, you could put the magnets on the other side if you have thicker straps or somewhere that you can link it onto wherever you hit clothing. Um, if you don't have any straps, obviously you can't use a magnet. But if you do have straps 
or a sleeve. You can just put the magnet. And what you do is it's two circle magnets. One goes on one side, the one goes in your shirt, and it, they snap together and hold it on. Um, we did do that magnetic corsage um, the last tutorial. So if you want to see how to do the magnet, um, you can check it out there. So I think it's cool. It would be really cool for something fancy. Um, again, baby showers, stuff like that. You know, especially baby showers are fun too because you always try to give something special and you could do pink or blue depending on the color of the babies or anything like that. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Again, birthday parties, um, bridal showers, bachelorette parties, I don't know. Anything you need, kind of something interesting and cool uh, and kind of fun to make. Again, if you're in a business, you should really learn how to do a bunch of different accessories because accessories are really popular these days. And wood flowers are perfect for that because they can reuse them um, and they're not worried about them dying. So it works good. Our sale is still going on. Summer 60 is 60% off our regular solo flowers on our website, lovesolaflowers.com. Make sure you join our community group and check out our YouTube page. All right, guys, we will see you hopefully next week. I'm hoping for no more power outages. I'm um, hoping that the weather stays clear, but <laughs> we're going to see. We actually had hail in New Jersey two days ago. It was crazy, but here we are. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have fun making something kind of different and cool, and uh, I hope to see yours in the community group. Make sure you share uh, what you do. All right, guys, have a good one.